welcome to our new humble abode. Uh, as you can see here on our left, uh, there's just some work to be done with the gutters. Got to clear it out uh, and uh, clear out all this stuff by the house. One thing that uh, Alexis and I know we need to do like right away is take care of some of the tree limbs that are clearly dead. And One just almost fell down on me when I was coming back from the truck. So we gotta, we gotta take care of some of those. It's got stuck in the trees up there somewhere. Yeah, and you'll see in the backyard there's a really big dead tree that needs to come down like now. Uh, the insurance company wants us to take care of it within the month, so we're gonna need to do that. Um, and so, come on this way. Um, so another project is with the. the the patio here, the porch, we need to shore it up a little bit because this, the floorboards are a little bit wobbly. Downstairs in the basement, there's a little bit of a mold issue. But that's something kind of a lot of a mold issue. Yeah, and so we're going to take care of that this weekend, make sure that like we uh, Clorox and bleach the walls, uh, put on some Killex on, on the, the walls as well uh, to make sure that everything is good to go as far as the basement. Um, over here we have the pump house out of the well where uh, and that actually works actually the pump works. works the water works comes out of the tap and the water is currently off i can turn it on right now should we close daddy in there please don't <laughs> <laughs> many spiders in there <laughs> but like that's that's the thing uh one thing that Alexis and I, we noticed with the property moving in is like there's electrical issues. Not every outlet works in the house and there's some just funkiness going on with like the ceiling fans and you'll see that over time as well. We have an outbuilding over here, just storage shed full of junk that we need to clear out because that's a lot of, you'll see like there, the previous owner of the property would like to uh, do burn piles just pretty much wherever he saw fit uh, so we're gonna have to rent a dumpster and clear out this property uh, and that will be he tried to burn a mattress he, he tried to burn a mattress uh, you can see a lot of empty beer cans and just random trash we got two microwaves out here on our back porch and again the insurance people want us to be fixed up because the one chair here has fallen off because there's some rusting on the foundation for the porch or the steps i should say and it's held up by bricks so it's that's very, very clever that's 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 one thing we need to take care of and then uh the one thing that excites alexis and i the most i think is just the, the land itself everything you see here is our property uh we got uh essentially 30 acres that runs that way uh which would be to the west, west. and then our pro property goes back uh a little bit a ways that way but ends uh right here there's the property line so we don't have much going to the east so it's a west westerly facing property um back here um we have some issues with the siding in the house that we need to fix up. Well, um, as you can see, part of the house has a basement. The other side just has a crawl space area. Uh, this patio or back porch uh, is going to need some fixing up as well. Another project. Uh, oh, here's our friend, the big dead tree. The big dead tree that is literally falling apart as we speak every day. As you can see all the branches on the ground that are just coming off of it. And so that's a clear hazard to the house that we're gonna need to uh, take care of. We're gonna need to uh, get propane here. Here's the propane hookup. There's um, the hookup. We, so we need to call a propane company and get propane in here. It used to sit right where they're standing. Yep, right here was the propane tank. So we'll need to get uh, company to come in here. There's a couple in town that offer services out this way. And then, as you can see in the back part of the property, though, uh, I did a little bit of exploring before we bought it today, and there's just more random burn piles that are back there, but a lot of good timber. And timber is something that 
we're gonna explore and we're gonna talk to you guys about because <clears throat> here in Missouri, uh, there is the ability to harvest timber and you can sell timber off the property and that would be one way to clear some of this land uh, so that we can establish more farm on, on this land. Um, so, What's your long-term agricultural goal, Michael? What do you want to grow? So, uh, Alexis and I, we were talking that we want to uh, grow a vineyard. And vineyard is something, so we're going to get some grapes growing back here uh, on this lot. And then also uh, just some other uh, crop that can make us a little bit more self-sustainable, like uh, a corn uh, is one that we were looking at. And, uh, and maybe some tomatoes and some, uh, uh, some blueberries. Berries seem to be growing really well out here. Potatoes and the like. So th these are all things that we're gonna explore and see, kind of troubleshoot it, what works, what doesn't work. And that's another thing that we're going to need to work on is figuring out and installing outside water sources so we can water all this crop. Um, as you can see here, the, the previous tenants they left behind a whole bunch of drywall and wood siding here on the property. Um, fun trash projects. Fun trash projects. Mentor, yeah, a good, good sized dumpster. Uh, we have a two car garage, uh, which needs a little bit work. Uh, the previous tenants decided to put carpet in the two car garage, which is an interesting choice, but I think they made it a man cave, but you know, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna need to fix that up a bit as well. And we'll show you that in a little bit here, but we have a two car garage and we can put stuff in there. We can park Mike's car in there as he commutes himself to work every day. Yep. And, and that's and that's part of our plan too is uh michael is still has to have a job um and so he's gonna commute um to the next the, the nearest big town and um while we work to pay off the property because we're just not in that position where uh where we can just afford something for cash or just pay it you know just pay it outright or do something like that so we're we're working on it but we're making things work because we really want to we wanted to relocate and really redo our lives here. And this is this is our our process that we're doing so far. And, and commuting, unfortunately, is still part of that for, for now. Yeah, and I think you'll see in future videos, uh, uh, Alexis is going to homeschool the kids. So she, I'm sure, will talk a little bit about the homeschooling process and how that it, uh, works, especially in a rural area such as this. Uh, where internet services usually are not all that great either. But, um, so yeah, a lot of good videos to come as far as projects to this property, uh, how we make out as far as uh, cultivating the land uh, and living here and living our lifestyle, homeschooling the kids, and me continuing to work to sustain that lifestyle. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, there's a lot of fun stuff coming in store.